What's going on everybody? It's me, Truck Driver Sean, and I'm back again with another BAM! Look at that. Another Haunted Labs pedal. I enjoyed the last one, the Witch Burner, like so much that I was like, I gotta try another pedal. So, um, I like like distortions, overdrives, boost. I'm more of like an overdrive and boost guy, really, to be honest with you, because I have amps that have enough gain to sink a battleship. I don't really need anything, but yeah, so here we are. Uh, the artwork on it's awesome. As always, we're going to put it on the whirly burly. It's going to go around circles. You can get a good look at it. Um, <clears throat> I really don't know anything about this pedal. And that's what's awesome about the way I do my videos. I'm just going to plug it in and see what she does. All right? I know it's a distortion pedal, so we're going to use pretty close to a completely total clean. Maybe a little spank on it. I will use the, the Hatred. I'm kind of feeling that amp lately. I, I've been, been using it for a hot minute. And I noticed that they, they're starting to put out pedals now, too. So hopefully here uh, in the next month or so, we'll have uh, their crazy boost pedal they just came out with. Like, it's a, it's a hot one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the site and snag one. Just don't buy the last one or I'll choke you the fuck out. All right, so Haunted Labs, <clears throat> by the way, um, I did my last video and the owner of that company reached out to me or I reached out to him. No. He reached out to me to thank me. Yeah, that's how it worked. And um, he is uh, a nice guy. <laughs> I talk to him almost every other day or so. He's a super, super good guy. I hope it's a guy because I, I never really asked but who, what their name was. I'm talking to somebody anyway. I imagine it's the owner because he was talking about the building stuff. But uh, it's so much fun. And when you get these small companies and they reach out to you, they get to talk to you about their product and you talk to them about like, what it's doing, you kind of get like another light of what it might possibly else do, right? That's pretty awesome. Granted, that's not gonna happen to everybody. You're not gonna be like, go buy a piece of equipment and go, now I'm gonna be buddies with somebody. It just organically happened, right? And uh, <clears throat> even, I, I did pretty good. I, uh, I'm gonna say this because now I know how to pronounce it and we're gonna show you why. I don't know if I'm supposed to like show it or not, but I think it's hilarious. And if I think it's hilarious, it's fucking funny. <laughs> Condro, Condro guitars. All right, Condro, and I know that because since how I've been butchering their name, they made sure they put it in a way that I would know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and in my last video. I was wearing a Sweetwater shirt and I said I probably should have gotten a shirt, but I tried to get a shirt and their website just wouldn't let me get a fucking shirt. <laughs> so the fine folks at Condro Guitars yipped me up on the phone and I uh, was like, hey, um, what size shirt do you wear? And they hooked me up with a shirt. So this was a gift from Condro. My opinion on the pedal is going to have nothing to do with the fact I got a shirt, but I do want to thank those guys for just being super cool. Uh, this is my second experience with them and... Um, the first time I got the pedal, they thought the name looked familiar, but they didn't pay no attention to it, which is good because I don't want to be that person who makes YouTube videos that's coming at people like this. You know what I'm saying? I want your mom to come at me like this, but I don't want to go to people like that. You know what I mean? Because, uh, <clears throat> there's enough people out there doing that. I got a pretty decent job. Uh, I'm not saying I, I roll in fat sacks of cash or anything, but, you know, a, a $100 pedal you shouldn't be begging for. I mean, if you're doing this as a hobby or something, stop busting these people's balls, man. Just go buy the goddamn pedal. You don't have to be like, hey, this is so-and-so from so-and-so, and I need this. Um, first off, if you ever do that to my business, I just hang the fucking phone up <laughs> and ignore the email. <laughs> now, if I do send an email to a business, I do link my channel and who I am, but I'm usually not going, hey, do you have something free? I do contact companies go, hey, do you have a pedal I can borrow? Because a lot of these pedals, I mean, obviously, if I showed you my pedal collection, a lot of them I keep, like if I get a gift from a company or something, I do not sell anything. Sorry, if anything, I give it away, but I will never sell something that was given to me by a company. It's, I think it's disrespectful to do that. I know a lot of guys do it, it's part of their income, but I think it's disrespectful, especially if it's a small company. You sell their stuff, fuck you. All right, so anyhow, enough of my rhetoric. Condro. <laughs> I love this. That note made my day. 
Con Dro. <laughs> Love it. So what we have here, um, we have gain, volume, and texture. I'm going to take it texture as sort of like tone, but it doesn't say tone, so it says texture. So we're probably going to get a little different, some something out of it. And uh, we're going to put everything in the middle just because that's what we do. So while I'm hooking this up, if you're still hanging out with me after my rhetoric of going on for, I don't know, way fucking longer than I needed to, take and watch the, uh, the OnlyFans version of the pedal. And I'll tell you right now, I was asked if I actually would start an OnlyFans page for my pedals to spin on that pedestal. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on. The only thing I do on OnlyFans is your mom. Okay, so let's hook this thing up. Take a look at this pedal. The pedal looks amazing. Uh, I love the plum color with the, the the purples and the blues and the white. Got a black outline around everything. The white knobs, it's super classy. We're not gonna say nothing. Come to find out, I shouldn't have ran my mouth about the last pedal. It does click audibly. But when you're playing, you do not hear a click go through your uh, through your signal. So I will say that uh, to uh, Haunted Laughs. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can hear it in the room because I I play um, not super duper loud. And I sit pretty close. Like I can reach out and touch stuff. So, I mean, obviously, that's loud. I hear it. So even with the noise, obviously, when I step on it, I'm not playing because it's up here I'm doing it by hand but I really love the graphics this should be on a shirt somewhere I'm just saying it's a really cool graphic and uh just in case the close-up doesn't really work all that well I'm gonna get this as close as I can so y'all can like pause it if you want to take a look at this thing or just look it up online look at good pictures of it. go check out Haunted Labs now <clears throat> at the time of me acquiring this this is sort of like the witch hammer it is heavily discounted right now at Contro Guitars. <laughs> I'm going to stop. I'm going to say that slow every time, right? So you go to Contro and uh, 100 bucks this sends up at your house. Okay? That's pretty cheap. For a small builder, doesn't make no noise. The quality of this thing, just by turning the knobs, you know you got yourself a high quality built pedal. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. And in the box, I know I showed the box last time, and this time I, I didn't. Picks, all kinds of goodies in there. You you get cool shit in the box. I love that. And that's what's awesome about the small builders. They give you stuff that no one else gives you. And even if it's just a pick or a sticker or something, it's still something. And you get you kind of excited, sort of like Cracker Jacks. Like, even if the box of Cracker Jacks is a little stale and you're not that happy with it, you're pretty happy when you get to the bottom of it or the middle of it, wherever the hell that little packet's sitting, right? All right, enough. I, I, I've been talking forever. So uh, <clears throat> while I go plug this in like I do your mom, watch the footage, and I'll be right back. What are you waiting for? Watch the footage. <laughs> have my signature deviant six string linchpin plugged into the old ruin which is going into my hatred by chaos amp going into the arachnid cabs of doom that's right eminent speakers my friends got some db 77s mic'd up that is going directly doo -doo 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 from the mic which is a sennheiser e 609 
and to the Zoom QN8. All right. So, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, I have the gain almost turned away off because this is a distortion pedal. Let's see, uh, see what she do. All right, so everything on the middle settings, and uh, <laughs> there's no noise. It's quiet. <clears throat> I love that. Distortion pedals have a tendency of being noisy. But so far, it's pretty quiet. So we're going to play just with the, the volume and see what happens. Um, screwed up. That's the gain, not the volume. So we're at halfway now. We went down to a quarter. You know what I mean? Pretty much for the best sound, just a just a little past half, between halfway and three quarters. That's really good. Now we're gonna play with the volume. <laughs> Attempt a number two, playing with the volume.
that's nutty. Now we're gonna play with the, the texture, which I'm, I believe is pretty close to a, a tone, and I'm gonna work my way out and dial the thing in when I'm done. All right, here we go.
Okay, so <clears throat> I have come to a conclusion with this pedal. This isn't as much a distortion pedal as it is like a nod to that really just grime ass old solid state two two fucking amps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got a great sound. So let's uh let's kinda like stop the chugs and kind of just do some like kind of like doomy riffs on it and see where she goes <laughs> there the old ruin if i was a doom or stoner player that would be my jam because you can just like just bust out like some just silly stuff with it man <laughs> Thank you. 
It just sounds good. That's Doom Pedal. That's not a distortion pedal. That is a Doom Pedal. Okay, so it's a, they say it's a, it's a distortion pedal. But if you play Doom, I've been doing Doom stuff, but not that well. This makes some Doom riffs actually sound pretty good, man. That's just fun. <laughs> That's fun. Right there. That's fun. All right. So let's wrap this shit up. Again, I'm using my Deviant Custom Guitar. My signature series. It's called a Lynchpin. That is going into the Old Ruin, which is going into the wonderful Hatred by Chaos Amp, which is going into my... Um, Custom arachnid cabs, which are loaded with eminent speakers. Right now, DB77 is the ones that are mic'd up with Sennheiser E609. Crazy ass mutt going into the QN8 or Q8N. What the fuck it is? It's a new one. <laughs> Huge thanks again to the guys at Condro Guitars for not only the shirt, but just for being super cool. And they were not cool to me just because I'm some douchebag on the internet making content. Um, I've heard from a lot of people that um, they're just treating people really well. And apparently the owner of the company is kind of like an enigma. Like, <laughs> everybody knows who he is, but I guess he uh, he's very busy making the deals and making shit work so you can get some of this really crazy gear that a lot of people don't carry into a store, which is very cool. Um, I love it when you can go and look at someone's supply and you're seeing stuff that you just don't see other places. It's very cool. And um, those guys there, they're super friendly. Their shipping is very quick. Everything always shows up in A1 perfect condition. And um, yeah can't thank them enough I was so cool for them to reach out and I really want to extend a bunch of gratitude for the kindness that Haunted Labs has shown me over my review of the Witch Hammer um, this review was a little funky I probably should have played this pedal before I did it and I would have known it was good for Doom and I would have just done Doom right out the gate but you know what now you know what it does <laughs> without a doubt you know what this thing will do so yeah it's a cool ass pedal. And right now you can get this some bitch if there's any left. Uh play hundred bucks. At your house. Go buy one. It's worth it. Just to tinker and fuck around with Doom stuff. It's worth hundred bucks. It's worth what they normally go for. It's like I think $179. It's their normal price. $179, $189, something like that. It's just very well built stuff. Like super well built stuff. And um like I said, the owner is just a super nice guy. And instead of supporting 
businesses that have CEOs and people that have no idea what the fuck is happening with the product that they're in charge of. Stick to small builders, man. And we love the Sweetwaters and all of them. They make things really convenient. But really, at the end of the day, there's small businesses that are doing things online now. You have Condro Guitars. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pausing every time I say that. I know I've got them now forever. It's just the way it's going to be because it's the way it's written on the paper. It's just too funny not to do that. But Condro Guitars, definitely check them out. Um, I know doing a video I, it, where I'm talking about getting it from Condro, but when I'm talking about small businesses... I have to mention my buddy Ike in Colorado at Flipside Music. He's the same way. Awesome guys in their shop. They carry, yes, they carry the name brand stuff that you want to get, but most of their stock is like stuff you don't just, hear, especially the pedals, like stuff you don't ever hear of. Or they're like unicorns, like you've never seen one before in your life and they're there in their store. There's not many shops like that out there. Notice I only mentioned two. How many music stores do you think are in this country, in the United States? And I mentioned two. But again, huge thanks to Condro. Um, I'll definitely never hesitate to get something from them. The shipping is great. Um, they get stuff to you fast. The prices are absolutely reasonable. If it's a boutique piece of gear, and I could be talking out of school because some of the stuff is out of stock, so the prices could be different when the stock comes in. But right now, their stuff is priced exactly what the manufacturer sells it for themselves. That means they're not gouging the price. They're not jacking it up. And just so you know, they, uh, they carry amps that your local store will never carry. You know, they carry like KSR and... Meza Barbara, you know, <laughs> just to name two. And they're not gouging anybody. Like literally the same price that KSR charges is what they charge. They're not jacking the price up. So for what it's worth, if you don't know anything about retail, that is a huge deal to get something from a small builder as a small business and be able to put that into your shop. And small builders don't just give their stuff away. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say their profit margin's not huge on some of the boutique stuff because, you know, it, uh, it's just not, it's not a friendly game for anybody. It's not friendly for the builders, it's not friendly for the stores because they're all trying to make it friendly for you. That's right, you, the complaining, whining motherfucker on the internet complaining about prices of gear. I'm one of them, just you know, I'm part of the clan. <laughs> Some stuff is overpriced, let's face it. You know, uh, <coughs> solar guitars. <coughs> Chapman. <coughs> Ibanez. <coughs> Did I say Ibanez? Holy shit. <coughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know those companies. I don't need to tell you who they are. We all know who those dickheads are. We saw the prices. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Like, straight fuck you. Fuck like you had right the side of the throat. <laughs> you sound like a goat, you know what I'm saying? All right. But support small businesses that are support. <laughs> Go shut the fuck up somewhere, would you? Go find your mom. Where's your mom? Go bug her. Leave me alone. Jesus. Turn your back on for two seconds so you've got to have attention. She's actually really cool. <laughs> She's being an idiot because she doesn't understand why I'm talking to a camera. It confuses her. Her brain's not exactly fully developed, and we don't know what happened. It just it started to grow, and once she found the dog bowl, it just stopped. Pretty much, that's a pretty accurate, pretty accurate description. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for tuning in. Thank you everybody for the support. Um, I figure I'll put it out there. I am going to be at Nam this year out in Anaheim, California. So if anybody's out there this year, please, if you see my dumbass waddling around, uh, I'll be the fat guy that's waddling around, that looks old as shit, that's running around like he's five. Yeah, that's me. Please, stop. Say hi. You know what I'm saying? Um, I am an awkward dude in public, but I'm not going to touch your butt. I only touch your mom's. Just saying. Mm, that mommy. Yep, ass of your mom's. 
She might have craters, but it means the stuff doesn't get on the sheets. She can walk away with it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Keep music evil, man. Bring metal to the children. Don't be a dick. Subscribe to my shit. Check out Haunted Labs. Their stuff's really cool. And they have a badass design. I really love that purple bat. That's just badass. The purple black bat on the uh, on the black. Uh, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, they definitely need to make a two XL large shirt of that shit and charge my account ASAP. <laughs> All right, thank y'all again for tuning in, and please, hey, have fun today. All right, this world's got enough of dumb shit making people cranky and having no sense of humor. Have some fun. Pull a prank on somebody. Probably should be somebody you know, though. Is, uh, people have to punch people right in the face now at Walmart just for looking at them weird. You seen that video yet? Damn. That dude stone cold knocked that motherfucker out for just looking at him. <laughs> Welcome to Walmart. Let's get your ass beat for like staring in the wrong direction. What would the guy done if he was blind? It's just like he's just aimlessly staring around. <laughs> I can knock a blind man the fuck out for staring at him, which is absolutely impossible. <laughs> the guy was not blind, though. He could see well enough to sign the incident report. Oh, he's suing the shit out of that dude and Walmart. Because Walmart didn't have security, and they advertise that they do. Yeah. Poor Walmart. Poor Walmart. Anyhow, I've taken up enough of your time. Get the fuck out of here. I'm getting out of here, all right? So, hey. Hey, hey. See you in the next video. You know what I'm saying? And as usual... Hey, don't tell your mom I'm coming tonight. Don't tell her where I'm going. But your aunt's going to have stories to tell. <laughs> Later, man. <laughs>